Hello, Joe from Montmartre here again. Thanks for joining us. Today, I'm going to be constructing the MEA 0002C Tilting Studio Easel. Now, this versatile, robust easel can accept a canvas up to 1.6 metres. And with its tilting capabilities, is appropriate for any medium and you can get some really fantastic effects with it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step is to take all of the components out of the box and lay them out on the floor like they are in the picture on the instructions. You will have 21 pieces of wooden easel parts. I'll just mention at this point many steps in this assembly require the use of a bolt and barrel nut. Drop the nut into the shallow hole, insert the bolt in from the side and through the barrel nut and tighten. So lay out the parts number one and parts number two, the wheel, hardware and the bolts and barrel nuts from bag A. These four holes are for the wheels, so that is the bottom. Lay these face down and slot in both of the number two parts. This is the base configuration. Once it looks like this, turn the whole unit over and join part numbers two and three together with the bolt and barrel hardware. This hardware will be in screw bag A. Drop the barrel in and tighten it with the Phillips head screwdriver. Do this on all four joining parts and remember not to over tighten. Once you have all of these tightened, you can screw on the wheels. Use the screws in bag B to fasten them. There is four screws to each wheel. And again, don't over tighten them. These are a really great addition to this sturdy easel. In step two, roll over your base and slot parts three into parts one. And attach these parts with the bolts in bag C. This is the same bolt and barrel nut system, so the same technique is required. Give them a tighten and turn the unit over. Then tighten the other arm with the other bolt and barrel. Now on to the next step. In step three, we fix the reinforcement blocks with the screws in bag D. When you tighten those screws, nip them all up, come back and tighten them fully. Do the other one like this too. Alrighty then, in step four, we need to join parts 5A and parts 5B and join them with the hardware in bag F. Make sure the back of the bolt is on the opposite side to the groove and when you place the bolt through part number 5, place a washer over the bolt and then screw on the plastic nut. In step 5, we attach parts 5A and 5B to the easel base. Use the hardware from bag E to do this and ensure that the head of the bolt is on the outside of the base and the washer is used in between part number 5 and the plastic nut and tighten. Okay then, put that aside and we'll move on to step 6. So lay out parts 6, 7, 8 and 9 like this. Ensure that the central support has the free area at the top. That way you will know it is the right way up. Slot in both part number nines into parts number four and eight, ensuring that the grooves finish and exit at the bottom. Join these with the fasteners in bag G. In step eight, we attach the easel mast to the tray and use the fasteners in bag H to do this. Nip these into place and tighten them up with the Phillips head screwdriver. And again, remember not to over tighten. Next, fix the trigger to the base and use the hardware in bag I. This trigger assembly is what facilitates the height adjustment. So slide the easel mast into the guide, align the mitered joints, pull up the trigger. In step 10, we need to connect the easel frame to the easel base. 
Use the hardware in bag K to do this and ensure that the wooden disc lies between the frame and the base. Make sure too that the washer is placed in between the parts number three and the nut. In step 11, we connect parts five to the frame. Use the smaller of the fasteners in bag K. In step 12, we need to slide the mast extension, part number 13, into the mast, part 10. Then slide the canvas holder, part 12, onto the extension mask with a fastener from bag J. Then using the last two plastic screws in bag J, screw them into the back of the mast. Finally, in step 13, we install the stabilising hardware. Just ensure the washer is in between the wood and the wing nut, then place on the rubber stopper. And voila! And there we have our brand new MEA 0002C Tilting Studio Easel, ready for your next masterpiece.